First, we will see the typical training given in a class in Kogo Ninja Dojo. It is called Kogo Ninja Session. The ninja kneels attentively in a position called Keshu and listens to the voice of the ninja Saishin, raises his trunk and puts his right hand over his heart ninja and swears allegiance to, which means the power of the ninja is based on the use of the five elements. Chi, the earth. This element represents the force of true training. Sui, the water. This element represents the warrior with a benevolent heart. Ka, fire. This element represents the warrior with an indestructible spirit. Fo, the wind. This element represents the goodness of your heart. Ko, the emptiness. This element represents your whole body as a weapon. Next, the ninja does the Koga Koji Goshin Ho, or the protection method using nine syllables of power. And once he has finished these nine cuts, the ninja places two fingers on the front of his chest and wraps them with his left hand and recites the sacred mantra that will give him protections against those who try to destroy him. Warm up. Once the spiritual ceremony has ended, the ninja proceeds to do the basic warm up called Koko Jonan Taiso. Natural movements of the body. The third part of this video is dedicated to the natural movements of the body known as Koko Taikin Taikin Jutsu and is composed of falls, rolls, movements, and acrobats. The falls. Starting from the kneeling position of Kaisho, the ninja executes one of the four falls. Backward fall.
lateral fall. Turn in fall. Forward fall. Rolls. Starting from the kneeling position of Keshu, the ninja does one of the four rolls. Backward roll. Side roll. Forward roll. Body roll to the ground. Footwork. Starting from the kneeling position of Kesho. The ninja does one of the four footwork. Cross step forward. Side step. Hand crawl. Silent step. The acrobatics. Backward acrobatics. Lateral acrobatics. Front acrobatics. Circular acrobatics. Blocking and attacking movements. In the fourth part of this first Ninja of Kogo video, a bamboo pole is utilized to harden the natural defense and attack weapons. This utensil is called Kogatai Taikinwara. Starting from the natural position, and with the help of a partner, the ninja does the basic blocking training. High left block. High right block. High block with the heel of the right hand.
high block with the heel of the left hand. Low block with the heel of the left hand. Low block with the heel of the right hand. Medium right block. Medium left block. After the blocking training and also utilizing the Kokotai Taikin water, the ninja trains using the natural weapons. He starts with the heel of the right hand. Continues hardening the heel of the left hand. Next with the right fist. Continues with the left fist. Then the right thumb. Next, he continues hardening his left thumb. He continues hardening his right grab. And ends hardening his left grab. Hardening the right elbow. Left elbow. Preparing the right knee. Preparing the left knee. Preparing the left scissors kick. Preparing the right scissors kick. Preparing the right pressure kick. End with the hardening of the left pressure kick.
combat training. Even though the ninja of Kogo utilizes four kamais with the emphasis on the four strong points that compose his basic strategy, for him the utilization of the kamais is vitally important. For the ninja, a kamai was like a fortress and a trap, that is. A kamai could be converted into an impregnable fortress or a trap to trick his enemies. The ninja warrior bases his combat on action without using time to get himself into a specific guard position. He used to use this type of training with the aim of improving his body movements for combat. So, even though the number of strategies are very basic, that is why they are effective. The ninja uses the kamai to be prepared in case he makes a mistake and also increases his tactics. Now we will do the five basic techniques in each one of these four kamai.
action infiltration and escape techniques. In this last section, the Ninja Koga demonstrates the basic Koga Taiken in Tonjutsu techniques. That means disarming action techniques. This part is composed of 24 techniques divided into two sections. The first part is called Miji Sokohoashi. Shows the 12 techniques that are done on the right side of the adversary. The second one is called Hadari Sokoho Ashi, and it demonstrates the 12 techniques that are done on the left side of the adversary. In order for there to be a better understanding, these two sections are subdivided into three parts. The first part is called Koro Ashi, which is about evading the opponent's weapons and the use of footwork to get behind his back. Each one of these sections give the ninja of Kojo a series of skills and abilities needed to obtain his objectives. As you can observe from the images in this section, the Koko Taiken in Tonjutsu techniques are done at a considerable distance. This is a reflection of the concept of action, which means that when the ninja is escaping and he finds himself in the middle of an armed enemy situation with a sword, he should be prepared to evade and eliminate his aggressor and all of this done without stopping and continue his evasion. It is important to point out two clear objectives to keep in mind. The first thing is, if you keep an eye on how the techniques are done, you will see that the ninja of Koga always uses adequate footwork to place his adversary within the distance of other possible enemies. The second idea is they recommend the use of the boken or the wooden sword to do these techniques until your skills allow you to do it in a more secure way using a real sword. This second one is called Jakutekubi. This is about grabbing the adversary's wrist so that you can execute a technique.
The third one is called Shukaduri. This is about grabbing the adversary's saber. Koga Taiken in Tonjutsu, techniques done on the left side.
as we have said before this first video of Koga Ryo Ninjutsu is dedicated to the basic techniques used by the ninja of Koga in unarmed combat Taiken Jutsu the art of the power of the body we shall see you in the next video which will be dedicated to the basic weapons used inside the Koga Ryo